up, YouTube. This is Russell Amar Russell. Make sure you guys subscribe. The button's right at the top. Uh, leave a comment right at the bottom. I know you guys all have an opinion about something. And uh, thumbs up the video. And uh, pass the video along. And make sure you guys view uh, other videos by me and Amber. And I'm Russell. And this is Amber. She hasn't been here in a while. No, I'm back. And I hopefully will, you know, remain here. Uh, it's been crazy at work. But I'm back in action. I got a lot of stuff to say, especially about the first topic we have to talk about. Yeah, so um, this past week on the most important day of the year or whatever, one, 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 or whatever, how many ones it was. Uh, it was like five. Five ones, yeah. Um, Jay-Z and rapper Jay-Z and Kanye West both released a song together on their first uh new album they're coming out as a joint album and it's called uh Watch the Throne. Watch the Throne, yep. And um their first single off of it is Ham and this is like, you know, a really highly anticipated album sort of because, you know, they're two big rap forces coming together. I mean they're on the same record label, they know each other for a while and um obviously because Jay Z they were signed he was they both were signed on Rockefeller Records. Yep. But they both have grown to two totally different artists and um have grown into like such icons in the rap game. So uh, you heard the song, did you, what do you think about it? Well, I actually heard it once on my way from work, and um, I really didn't know what it was. It was just like, you know, Funk Master Flex, you know, hot, new, like, new, whatever. So I was, like, listening to it, and I kind of really didn't, you know, like, pay attention to it until you told me about mm -hmm. it. And going back thinking, it really didn't click to me yet, but, you know, with Khalifa's Black and Yellow song, the same thing. I kind of, like, grew on it, and I, I researched with Khalifa, you know, got a lot of his songs I like, but... Um, I think it, it has to grow on me. Yeah. It might have to grow on me, but, you know, it's okay. And, um, Ham stands for what, what was it? We Hard as a M effort. Mm -hmm. Um... Um, you heard, you just looked up other stuff. Like yeah, other I looked, people were saying I mean, different stuff. That, we were, we didn't remember what it stood yeah. for because we knew we heard it in the lyrics, but we couldn't remember. So, you know, I googled it on my Blackberry and it was like, uh, it stands for hot in Hebrew and, um, like Genesis Son, Noah, like all this other stuff. Like, I just knew like what it stands for. Like extra deeper stuff like, than what I actually mean. If you don't know what it is, don't put it on the, like, the internet, like. Seriously. People put whatever they want, but um, it stands for a a mother. And um, so uh, Drake was actually interviewed, and he was talking about how him and uh, Lil Wayne were gonna make an album together. Someone's uh, very bitter. And um, he was saying, oh, uh, it's kind of funny how they took my these two people are like stealing my idea or something sort of the lines of that. I'm not trying to paraphrase what he said. I'm just saying sort of what he kind of said. And um, to me, it's like. How are you going to say, like, they stole your idea, basically, when... It's like, you know, you never created, uh, collaboration yeah. albums, like... They have been going like, on Like, they for were, years. like, going on when you were, like, thought of in the womb. Like, are you serious? Yeah. Like, seriously? And I, I'm not trying to diss you, Drake, or anything. Like, I'm a big Young Money fan, big Weezy fan. I'm a fan of yours, Nikki Ant, so you thought, you know, like, just... It's not your idea. You didn't come up with it, so don't get mad yeah. because they did it first. Yeah, don't make beef where it's not needed. Yeah. Anyways, it's not like you guys even have time to make a conjoined album, you and Wayne, because you have a second album like that you're supposedly working on. Wayne well, has a card of four. Yep. So, I mean, like, what are you guys going to do? Like, make an album right now and drop it out on the end of the year? Exactly. I'm sorry. I'm not, I, I'm not the hugest Young Money fan, but... You guys already know you're going to be featuring everyone's song. Yep. You guys are going to have a bunch of songs out already, a bunch of mixtape songs coming out. Wayne's going to have, like, eight songs on the radio. You're going to have, like, probably, like, eight or nine. Why don't you just give it a break and let other people come on the radio instead of just be about you, Drake? Um, you don't want people to hear so much about you and have that album, and you have to promote that as well as your own album, and Wayne has to still promote Car 4. Just worry about what you got on your plate right now instead of trying to do everything at once. Exactly. And then you get played, you're going to play yourself out, and then no one's going to want to listen to your music. You're already on the radio, like, way too Every, much right now. Oh, my God. If it's not, like, you and Rihanna, it's you by yourself, it's you and Wayne. It's just, like, I hear you every day. You're like... And it's, it's good to hear different stuff from different artists. And it's not like it's a bad collaboration... It's good collaboration, mm -hmm. and, you know, you should just sit back and, you know, just... Let them write out yeah, their... Yeah, let them do them. Yeah. Don't feed beef. Let them write out uh, watching the throne and let them do what they got to do. If, if you and Wayne still want to do that, 
you guys could still do it, and then you guys could do it Just next don't be year. mad that they did it before yeah. you, and that they have a hot song come, like out now. Yeah. Anyways, it was bound to happen because they're both on the same label. They've known each other for so long. Exactly. They're both creative rappers, and um, yeah. So Drake, just sit down with that and um, focus on what you have to do and stop having me stop acting like Lil Kim right now. Who you? She has um, still hasn't released a video for on that. Black you know what? Friday. That Black Friday disc. I'm gonna tell you that was the fastest song that was hot and went cold the next day. Like everyone's talking about, oh, that weekend. Facebook posts, Twitter posts, oh, Kim, you know, that is the game, all YouTube, that. like, everything, and then it just went, um, like, it went mute. You should have like, released the video, you know, like, the next day. Like, you should have had a video, um, I think you could have had a better beat, like, in it, um, you still went hard, but it's like, you did that, and then Nikki's still making new songs. She's still she's there. She's still there. She's not doing she's, it. she's still, you know, getting her fans, she's still showing, you're, you know, her. Not, you're not your favorite her. Like, okay, whatever, you diss me, I'm still making music, I'm still making money, and you just stand on that one diss track. It's like, hello, when are you going to come to realize that you need to do more than one diss? Like, and uh, Foxy Brown has a diss track. I know! <laughs> what it's the all about Foxy, Foxy, like, okay. Foxy Brown. Foxy Effin Brown, are you serious? No, I'm not even, how about we talk about people that really matter, like Britney Spears? Who has a new song that came out on, um, it was supposed to come out the same day as uh, the... The, um, on Tuesday, but I actually got released a little earlier. I talked about it before. I heard the demo, and uh, the song's kind of growing on me as well as the uh, other song, the Jay Z song. But um, how'd you feel about it? Um, you know, it was. Eh. I'm not a big Britney Spears fan, first of all, but um, I think it's very you know similar to what everyone else is doing now. Yeah. It's like you know she's. I think she's just trying to do what people like, like, she sees Kesha doing her song. It sounds like a lot like You know, a and it song. did sound like a Kesha song. And it's like, you hear her doing her music, and people like that. People like the craziness in Kesha. People like her music and her songs. And I think that if Britney Spears kind of, like, did her own thing that she's used to, like, you know, her own music, I think to think that people wouldn't like it. She wouldn't probably get as many sales for it. So I think she kind of went outside the box try to do things that, you know, she saw other people doing, and it, I, I don't think it worked for her. Um, I, I gotta say, one thing comes to her defense, she did do, like, that kind of sound before, in previous albums, like, the one when she went crazy, you know, when she called her hair, she had, like, the... Yeah, you know... But she sort of had that sound before, they call it, like, a dub step, or dupe step, or I forget what's it called, but that's the beat, or whatever, like, this kind of beat that she's singing on, um, she did that in her Blackout album. So I gotta say, come to her defense and say, she did do that before, it was popular, but I mean, after Lady Gaga did it, everyone else wants to do it. It's yeah. kind of like, if Britney Spears wants to be, like, you know, known as the princess of pop, she should be more innovative and push boundaries and do something far off to the left. I mean, it was kind of off to the left. It wasn't, it doesn't sound, it sounded like even further off right. to I the mean, futuristic sound, but... It was still in the same lane as what everyone else was right. doing. Right. I mean, her album, I think, is going to do well. I think, it's I mean, Britney people Spears. people are already downloading it, like, millions. It was and, like, what is it? It was the number one downloaded song, the top selling, it was the fastest selling song in the first day out. Or like, something first like that. day, I mean, if you could do that in the first day, just think. And I mean, like, I, I know she's going to, you know, bring it hard in her album. She has to. She really doesn't have a choice. Mm -hmm. Um, But I think, you know, I really think that, uh, She's doing her thing, unlike Jessica Simpson, but, um... Jessica Simpson, though, was making But she, you know what, and, um, I heard this in the news, you know, they kind of ragged her, saying she can't sing, she can't act, mm -hmm. she can't do anything, but her clothing line is it's doing very well. Like almost a billion dollars. A billion dollars. In the year. dollars. I mean, if she would have... 750 If Jessica... Million. If you would have started this in the beginning, just think of where you could have been. Like, music's not your thing, mm -hmm. you know, the reality's not your thing. Just think about fashion. Do you do what you're doing. Do not defer from this. Just a little side note there. Do you think she pushed the marriage because Nick Lachey got married, or do you think she's doing it because um, she really loves this guy? I don't think she loves him. I think it's publicity. Mm -hmm. kind of, I doubt if Nick Lachey gave like, two shits, but... Uh, it was like two days later. Yeah, after it's like, you know, I mean, and, and you know, I, I feel bad for her in a way, because look at Vanessa, you know, she's mm -hmm. like 
it's really pretty, and it's like she's thin. And she's Vanessa Manoa. Like, yeah, Vanessa Manoa. I kept thinking her last name. It is Vanessa Manoa. It's funny, Vanessa. But I, you know, just keep doing your clothing thing. Mm-hmm. That's working for you. Your guy, he's not right looking, not better than Nicolas Cage, but he's, you know, if you're happy, then, you know, you're happy. Do you? Yeah, so, um, yeah, back on to Britney Spears. They were saying that, uh, her video is going to have, like, hot dancing and stuff. I hope she goes back to being where she used to be back in, like, 04, 05. Right. Back then, instead of, like, where she was, you know, a couple of years ago. Because I saw videos of her concert right. on YouTube. It and, um, not, not It was a lot of effects. It looked like a great visual show as a whole, but if you look at Britney Spears. She wasn't, like, doing. Yeah, it was, like, a CD-ish. Whereas this whole show as a whole, right. everything that affects the smoke, the mirrors, the dancers, the costumes, the set, was all 100. She was at 70, 65, 50. Yeah, that's, you know, you can't even be below 70 bucks. Mm-hmm. Like, you need you to gotta bring it all the time. 100%. Go mm-hmm. hard or go home. And so, um... A lot of people are comparing her to uh, Lady Gaga right now, saying, oh, trying to start a beef with them, saying that, oh, because they're like, you know, Lady Gaga was like the top thing in 2009. Right. 2010. Wait, Lady Gaga. She's had the album coming out, too, as well. Does she? Yep. And um, so they're kind of like trying to compete because they're saying who's going to be on top. But I mean, honestly, like, uh, I think, you know, Lady Gaga did her thing. It's just that how much more can she bring? Like, she's done so much of the different. It's like, what else can she do to sell her music? Like, yeah. I think Britney Spears is highly anticipated. People are, like, have been waiting for her to come back. People have been waiting for her to step up her game. And, you know, she's trying to do that. And I think people are going to like her album. Lady Gaga, I'm not saying, you know, not trying to not credit huge, or anything. She has a huge yeah, fan base. she has a huge fan base. And that's going to make her, rec- her sales sell regardless. Even if people do not like the album. They're mm-hmm. just going to buy it to support her because, you know, like, they're her fans, but it's like, what can you do different to attract other fan base? Like people mm-hmm. that not your fans, how are you gonna hop them on your bandwagon? Or like, how is she gonna make this any different and have people say it's as great as the first one? Exactly. Because a lot of new artists, when they go to their second album, it's like people anticipate so, so much. So much because you've done this yeah. big blowout before getting how many. How many uh, little awards did she get? Like the most yeah, she, in history in one got, day. Yeah, like, at the VMA, like, yeah. she got like all 13 or like, like 10 of them. Seriously, it's won. like, a, what can you do to get as many as you did before? Or try to at least get like more than half of that. Like, what can you do different? I don't know. I think, I hope she didn't use up all her ideas because um she seems like she's a very talented person. Right. And she has influenced everybody in the music industry because, you yeah. know, Everyone R and B is doing this electro pop. Mm-hmm. Usher, Beyonce, uh, Kelly Rowland, the whole everyone's yep, doing everyone. that kind of sound. Uh, Kanye West is stepping up his game in the music videos. Yep. You because you think of Kanye West like his music videos are never like how they are. Yeah, right now. they were like just subtle, like you know, mm-hmm. not like they were good. But they were not. They weren't bad. They just weren't and, like, like all artsy. Yeah, yeah, like and like, makes you think mm-hmm. like, wow, this is a really good video. You know, I like the old ones. In the previous video, I thought I like the old ones better because. That was who he was personally. Right, not who he turned, like, yeah. transformed into. Yeah, I think it's kind of fakeish. Like. Yeah. But anyways, um, so yeah, so what do you guys think about Lady Gaga? Do you think she's going to come back on top? And um, this beef with her and Britney Spears, all I got to say is, everybody, uh, there's enough space on your iPod for all these different people. I doubt you have enough space for only one song on your iPod. Exactly. So, uh, Show the love. Spread the love. Yeah, don't. Say, don't knock someone else because you want to make your favorite artist, you know, exactly. feel better. And, um, what else we have to talk about? We said one more thing, I forgot. The zodiac signs have changed. The zodiac signs have changed. Um, there's a new one, 13th one. Do you know what's called? I can't pronounce it. Like, are you serious? Like, you know like, what? I, let's talk about how everyone for years, however old you are, whether you're 75, whether you're 12, you, you've come to know that your zodiac sign is this one specific sign. Like, for me, example, I was Aquarius and I'm Russell, an Aries. You're, you're Aries. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, it's like, now you're the previous sign, so now I'm a Capricorn and... I'm a Pisces so, or whatever. What I have a question uh, about is, what about, what happens to the people, you know, who, let's say if you're a Capricorn, you know, the Capricorn sign is pretty cool. People like tattoos mm-hmm. and stuff, you know, oh, you get the, you get the Capricorn yep. sign. I don't think you got Capricorn anymore. I know, right? And it's like all your horoscopes, all your daily readings and all that stuff. It's like, oh, this is what's going to happen. 
these are the planets and these are the, you know, these are the yeah. zodiac signs to stay away from. It's like, you're staying away from these people, pushing them out of your life. And you're making the ones that you're supposedly supposed attracted to, be attracted attracted to, to. come to you. Yeah. And it's like, you know, people have a lot of relationship issues. People have, you know, issues at work with people. And it's like, you know what? Maybe it's, you know, it's, I personally don't believe in astrology like that. But, I mean, there's a lot of people who really follow it daily. And it's like, it makes you think, like, wow. Well, you've wasted been your whole life, life in a lie. In a lie. Because they say that, oh, now it's the 13th one. So you all this time thought that you were this certain thing and you only had to be with this stuff. Exactly. You people look at what their signs say. They think, oh, this is how it should be. And yep. they start thinking, oh, yeah, I am like that. Oh, it says I'm supposed to be proud. I'm supposed to be uh, a leader. Yep. So I'm going to try to make sure I'm a leader. I'm make sure, yeah, I am a leader, blah, blah, blah. They sort of become that, that, that image, sign yeah, that, that they're yeah. supposed to be, the stereotypical Aries or Pisces. Pisces or Cancer or whatever, exactly. and now they're, what they think that they're supposed to be is not anymore because it says, oh, wait, we messed up and uh, all this stuff is a month it's, behind. It's, yeah, it's so like, you so, you know what, my advice to any of you who, you know, follow astrology and follow all this, my advice to you is, go back, look at all the people you pushed away because of what your sign said. Read your new signs, and maybe your relationships can get better. Invite people in. Be more, you know, just just look at your horoscopes. Just, I, just, I got you know, better. I got better. You have a better idea? Don't look at your horoscopes at all. Forget about it. If you were a Aries two weeks ago, you're still Aries today. Um, and just don't worry about it. And uh, live life because of who you want, people who you like. Don't care about what their sign says. Because it's just a date of birth that you are doesn't make who you are as a person, as an individual, it's just a certain date you were born on. You're right. I don't, you know what, I don't, I don't believe in astrology because I don't need people telling me, I don't, I could stay away from this person, stay away from that person. Um, I don't follow horoscopes, I don't read horoscopes, I live my life because I love life. Mm -hmm. I, I do what I want, when I want, I don't care about people's feelings like that. I do, you know what, I live life. You have one life, live it, don't care what people think of you, and... If you want to date a criminal, date a criminal. If you want to date a goody two shoe press, date a goody two shoe press. Do what you want to do. And don't let the signs live your life. Live your life. And if you want to look at it, just look at it. But don't have that be your don't life. Don't let that make your decisions for yeah. you. Yeah, make your decision on your brain, not with what the newspaper says. All right, so I'm Russell. And I'm Amber. Make sure you guys leave a comment. Talk about the zodiac. Talk about Britney Spears. Do you think there's a beef between her and Lady Gaga? And talk the about band? Kanye West. Talk about Drake. Talk about Little Way. Talk about all the collaborations. What do you think is gonna happen? Do you think it's gonna be a new flound beef? Like, um, and uh, make sure you guys watch the Grammys. Uh, Lady Gaga is gonna be premiering her actual new song. Ooh, that's good. I can wait for Lady Gaga for a new song. And, I'm gonna um, be very excited for this. Oh, and uh, they said that Britney Spears was was supposed to perform at the Grammys. Oh, uh, she's not performing anymore. Uh, they, they haven't confirmed it or they haven't Once we get a confirmation, it. we will have a video updating you on the latest aspect. But um, my thing is, like a lot of people are saying, is that is she going to sing a Mmm. It's the Grammys. Like, you're supposed to show off your talent. Exactly, yeah. So are you just going to lip sync? So, and did you, her voice doesn't sound like a human either. It sounds really robotic. Robotic and, and like auto. On the, on the, yeah. yeah the, so, Brittany, um, can you, like, lay off on that stuff? You used to have, like, a decent voice back then. Yeah. And the 90s and stuff, so, um. Go back love, to that. Yeah. And, uh, people, please stop doing the electro pop. Go back to doing whatever you did before. With R&B. Where's all this other stuff that we you We could make a video follow? about this and, um, another video about this. But, uh, about the R&B artists, because I count, there's, like, about, like, ten of them who went from being, like, Strictly R&B artists to now being electro pop, but uh, make sure you guys comment right at the bottom, thumbs up the video, subscribe, peace. Watch previous videos in the past. Thanks for watching. Thanks.